Hello, and welcome to this Divine Partnership Coaching video. Since I'm on a roll this evening, I might as well continue. And in this video, there's going to be a general video uh, to help discern the difference between instinct and intuition. Actually, we'll keep it pretty short. So, instincts are a combination of your base drives, your... Um, you know, your need for f food and protection, shelter, and say in this day and age, transportation and communication devices, your, your, but your, your basic needs, um, and that includes your basic emotional needs. However, instinct is also, it's primarily ego-driven, and it's a part of, it's typically, until you have healed a lot of things, a major part of your pain body, and your ego's job is to protect you from pain. It's an ego id thing. The ego, your Tony Robbins often talks about like our primary drive is to avoid pain and increase pleasure, and that ba with that basic understanding, you know your your ego and your id are kind of the autopilots of your instinct and intuition. And then when you get onto a healing path and you get into a divine path, they become your avoid pain and increase pleasure centers. And your instincts, when you're still kind of in karmic energy, are primarily driven by trying to avoid various pains that you experience through childhood, through relationships, through work, through your own mistakes and mess making, things of that nature. And you can recognize when you are in instinctual energy because you either get, you, you might get into fight or flight mode, like somebody might, uh, a, a common one because of the quarantine going on might be if somebody gets hurt, whereas typically you could go to urgent care at a hospital, you might feel a very strong sense in you not to go. And the reason for that is your instincts recognize that that is one of the most dangerous places you could be right in the moment. Um, but your instincts might kick in in other moments when it doesn't make sense for them to. It might be that you are considering um, making yourself available for dating and you feel like this intense fight or flight energy. And that's something to look at and like realize that if your instincts are being kicked up, then your pain body's being kicked up and there might be some trust issues or some other father wound things to work on healing. It's good to look at. Either way, your instincts are often going to, they're going to be a loud voice in your head and they're going to be based on fight, was it fight, flight, or freeze? That's instincts. And they're important. They do need healing. You're not, you're not ever going to get rid of them, but you're, you, you want to get to a point to where your instincts are to trust your intuition first and to act from a place of wisdom rather than just a place of reaction or trying to avoid pain. When you are in, when you're experiencing, observing your intuition, that is typically connected to your inner being. And it's usually a quieter voice, kind of a whisper, if you will. At least at first it comes across that way. And it's usually either, it either communicates to you in a, I mean, if it's, if you're an audio person, it could be in a small voice that says, let's try that, that sounds like you'd be pleasurable. That might be fun. Let's talk to that person, they're kind to us. And it might say, come this way, come this way, come this way, come this way. Try this thing. Do that thing. Oh, that feels inspiring. It's usually neutral or happy. It's usually connected to your inner child also. And when you're in, when you're listening to your intuition, usually you can recognize, you know, your, there's a certain overlap between instincts and intuition. Like say that, I mean, a lot of folks on this healing path are still going to be dealing with karmic people who are in duplicitous and deceitful energies and they're going to be very good at masking that and you're also because you're unhealed probably going to be looking at people who are good for you but looking for the trick in the trap and so you're going to be like part of the reason that the universe is presenting those situations is so you can learn this discernment between instinct and intuition and just part of why i thought to do this video and so when you're in intuitive energy Typically, you're going to notice you're paying more attention to your emotions rather than your pain body. But, like, where are you carrying things? Is this, 
Like if you feel called to talk to somebody, but you are holding yourself back from doing it, um, that's probably your instincts holding you back. And what you need to figure out is what does your intuition say? What does, you know, and if you have somebody that you're worried about is tricking you or manipulating you, you actually need to get out of your instinctual energy and into your intuitive energy so that you can really tap into your innate abilities to recognize, uh, to subconsciously recognize body language and to hear the whispers of spirit and to align with your inner being, which if you're still having trouble with that, I started a video on the divine emperor, the divine masculine path, uh, path of the emperor, I believe it's step five might be step four in learning to understand what is your truth and once you understand what your truth is you can start standing in it and that connects you with your inner being it gets you in alignment with who you really are and when you have that sort of a compass you can start to discern what your intuition is a lot better because then you'll start to you know if you're maybe you're more uh kinesthetic person you might feel tingles in your body when you feel your intuition going whereas when you feel your instincts you feel tense or you feel like an energy to go 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 right or you might feel anxiety whereas with intuition you might feel like a quiet sort of excitement also um, typically instinctual energy is usually attached to divine masculine primarily, even though we both experience it. And intuition is typically a skill that is more attached to divine feminine, empress energy. Um, if anybody has any other questions or would like any further detail, please feel free to leave a message in the comments. Otherwise, uh, like and subscribe. I will add more videos as I feel called and able to... Um, accurately describe things. <laughs>